Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Pokemon Leaf Green Novice Nuzlocke where we left off. I was just devastated by the loss of our teammate Bubsy. And in retaliation, I decided to level up uh, our Julie one more time for him to evolve into Metapod. And then I got Ratsgum and Falco to level 8. And we are about to take on the forest, so let's do that. I think we'll lead with Falco, because all those damned bug types. Okay. Uh, you guys may notice a difference in the sound as I got a new mic. Um, I've got hardware slowly trickling in. Um, capture card on its way soon, which means that you'll see lots of different content from me. Okay, come on. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not like Peck will one-shot you. Surely it wouldn't just one shot you. Okay, well. Who didn't see that coming? Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, there's definitely... I don't think I fought any yet, right? No, I did not. Okay, this is the first one. I really wish we got a Pikachu in this forest. That would have been really fun. I hardly ever play with Pikachu. Although this is the game that I've played with Pikachu the most. Probably because you can get him so early. Okay, I don't actually know if we'll one-shot this. I think Caterpie has higher defenses, yeah, so... Oh, well, with a crit, we definitely one-shot. Definitely one-shot, okay. Give me that sweet XP. Okay, uh-huh, another Caterpie. Yeah, I feel like Falco's definitely gonna get some levels here. So, if it wasn't for Big Boy, I would be very worried for the Rock Gym coming up. But... Because of him, I know him with Vine Whip and Leech Seed, he'll just sweep the whole thing. I don't actually know if we got some potions. That's a good question. That's something we should know. We have seven potions, five antidotes. Okay, we're we're ready for the forest. We're ready. We're absolutely ready for whatever the forest could throw at us. You can jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Okay, show me your jammies. I didn't mean pajamas. I meant like. Show me your music interests. Okay. Wow. Even even a level seven Weedle. Damn. Damn, Falco. Damn. Level nine. Okay. Do we want to? Not a Weedle. Not. We we definitely want the Falco for for Weedles because we don't want to get our team poisoned. But I think I'll use Big Boy and Rat Scum a little bit. The thing with Metapod is he's not going to be good until level 10, obviously. Kakuna, it should only know Harden. We're going to switch to Big Boy up. Do we Leech Seed? Do we Leech Seed? I think we Leech Seed. I think we Leech Seed. He's not going to hurt us, but he's going to get that defense up, and all of our attacks are physical attacks. So let's, let's Leech Seed him. There we go. Works like a charm. Now, Shed Skin... Which Kakuna should have, I'm pretty sure. Should not... Should not... Work... Against Leech Seed. I'm pretty sure, at least. So... He'll definitely... If, if it does work, he definitely will before he's dead. So we'll know. Uh-huh. More tackle spam. I don't think Final Oak would do more damage. Um... We'll just save the PP. It's only got 10 PP. PP are the little... Are how many times you can use it. Don't... don't uh... I don't know why I was worried about you guys thinking that I said pee pee ha ha pee pee, but I was, and now you won't be. Now I now I won't be. Okay, I'm just out of my mind today. Okay, come on, keep up the tackle spam. You're doing great, big boy. Big boy over here showing how he got his name by being a big boy. Yeah, we've got 35 PP haha of of tackles, so I'm not worried about using a crap ton of tackles on him. This may even kill. Probably not, but it might. Nope, it didn't. That's okay. That is okay. Wow, we really only used tackle five times? It's not like it was more than that. Okay, easy 100 XP. I mean, what level does Big Boy need to sweep through that whole gym? Probably 12, and he'll probably sweep. Maybe, maybe use up one potion. I don't actually, I, I think he'll be faster than the Geodudes. And he'll definitely one-shot them, because they're both rock and ground. 
It's times four weakness to my to my grass. Is there an item over here? I'm gonna look like an idiot if I because I'm definitely gonna have to fight. You know, let's just do it. We need the XP. Falco will not evolve until level 20. I in a Nuzlocke, I've had uh, a Spearow a few times, and I don't think that I've ever evolved him. I don't think he's ever. I don't think I've used him for that long or kept him alive that long. So it'd be kind of interesting to have a Spearow. Okay, I just went in a big circle. Oh, I could have avoided this trainer, but I want the experience. So because some of them got Metapods and Kakunas, which are they are that good XP. They were that good XP early on. Okay, I wish I'd used somebody else since I don't necessarily need pack. I mean, we've got plenty of PP ha ha of pack, so. Nice. Caterpie, okay, we're switching. I hit the, I did not, I swear I hit A. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to switch anyway, so it didn't matter. All right, he actually gets, they actually get an attack off, wow. Alright, yeah, I knew Caterpie had to be more offensive than Weedle. But one-shotting those Weedles with a uh, peck is really nice. Okay, this way... We still don't have the freaking running shoes. I think I know where we get them, and I think we get it after this gym. The upcoming gym. I feel like... No, we'll get Julie to level 10 on the trainers after the gym. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Um, but I do want to lead with rat scum. I don't really want to fight any Weedles. I'll probably run away from them, but... We've got plenty of antidotes. But quick attack, we'll, we're probably fine. Okay, doesn't matter here. Okay, quick attack. Quick attack spams, especially now that I use string shot, which lowers my speed. Quick attack! Alright. Good thing I quickly attacked. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. Shut up. Okay. There's a trainer up here? With evolved Pokemon? Like, is he the one that has, like, a level 10 Butterfree? He's got a Metapod right now. This is easy. We can go for tackles, because I think it's more, is it more damage in this game? I'm actually going to check real quick. 35, 40. Oh, quick attack's actually stronger in this game. Okay, good thing I looked at that. Quick attack! We've got plenty of PP, aha, uh -huh, on this one too. Quick attack, or er, er, a critical hit? Okay, that'll make things a bit easier. Now we'll probably, we'll probably need two more though, if I had to guess. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. With the Harden, yeah. You know, we're gonna use Tackle. Okay. Another Caterpie. Stay in. Ratscum about to be level 9. Now he also... Hmm, when does he evolve? I'll have to look that up off camera at some point. I, Cause I don't actually fully remember. Yeah, we're fine against this Caterpie. Sometimes I forget that that I'm doing a Nuzlocke, uh, so I should be more careful of like crits. But in that situation, we are fine. I mean, clearly I should be more careful of crits since that's what took out Bugsy, which I definitely wanted over Julie. It's fine. Okay. I actually forgot what he's sending out, but I'm just gonna send out Julie. A pod. If we start, okay. I'm gonna switch train, big boy. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna get the XP on Julie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, cause I'm gonna leech seed. It's fine. Leech seed, and it missed. That's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna do it again, and it's gonna work. The hardens don't matter. In case you guys didn't know, for whatever reason. If you catch a, mod a Metapod or a Kakuna in the wild, they don't have their Caterpie and Weedle moves. They only have Harden. 
And for some reason, that means when a trainer has a Metapod or a Kakuna, it only has Harden. That is early Pokemon games for you guys. Like, you just know that's not intentional. Like, what's the point? Like, why would you even throw it out if it's just waste time? I mean, what, to burn through the PP uh -huh, of team? Like, even then, early on, you just got tackled. So it's like, you have plenty of PP. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that leech seed was doing work. Okay. Alright. Back on our merry little way. Does anybody need healed? Are we fine? We're fine. We're fine. Absolutely fine. Okay. Weedle. I feel like a quick attack will take it out though, so I meant quick attack. I swear if it's... Okay, it wouldn't have killed anyway. That's fine though. That is fine. Because we can just use quick attack. For those of you that didn't know, quick attack always goes first. Okay. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy. There are only a few other moves that... Actually, there's probably closer to like five or six other moves that do that. I'm glad I came. I remembered to check over here. Potion. Free potion. Very nice. Okay. One more trainer? Just one more? Yeah, just one more. Okay. Actually, there might be one at, like, the gate. I don't remember. Okay, what do you got? What do you got? Do you have a Butterfree? Oh, what? one Weedle? Hmm. We've got Antidotes. So, I'm really not scared. Uh-huh, that's fine. That is fine! Everything is fine! This Weedle... This Weedle, I may be rat scum, but this Weedle is pond scum. Like, look at this ugly little fuck. Okay. Quick attack! Finish it off. No poison. I swear, for whatever reason, it feels like my water types and my normal types just get poisoned all the time. And electric types, I tend to always seem to get poisoned. Okay. So, we're through here, no other trainers. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, I hear. Oh, you hear, huh? Okay. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Uh-huh. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? Oh, pressing B? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can just stop the process. If you'd like to have a weaker Pokemon, for whatever fucking reason, you can press B. Interesting, okay. Uh, this is actually still Route 2, so even though this is a new area, we do not get an encounter here. I think this is technically where we got Weedle, I believe. Rip Bubsy? Okay. So, I think with the trainers in the gym, we'll be strong enough, uh, after them to face the actual gym leader with our big boy. Our big boy will crush their big boy, for sure. Because I don't think... I don't think we can get the running shoes or go fight the trainers to the right before we beat the gym. And we can grind on that Route 2 patch of grass if we need to, but I don't think we'll need to. That's why I picked Bulbasaur, so that I wouldn't have a tough early gym. Alright. I was hoping Rat Scum would get to level 10, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, you're 10,000 light years from facing rock. You do not understand that distance measurement at all, do you? I'm probably at most 10 feet from rock. Geodude. Level 10. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to put on some levels before I come in here. I don't know. I mean, I know we'll, we're fine, actually. Yeah, we got this. We may have to go rest at the Pokemon Center just to get our PP aha back, but we're fine. Sand true. Also easy, but has higher defense, so probably will live. Yeah. 
If he doesn't defense curl, okay, I'm gonna use tackle then, because I think a tackle will finish him off since he didn't raise his defense. Ah, we missed. And there it goes. Okay, another vine whip. That was my speaker shutting off. It kind of scared me, not gonna lie. Okay, vine whip and a miss. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to stop the PC. Uh huh. Go ahead, keep rolling up in a little ball. Who do you think you are, Sonic? You're dead. That's what you are. Okay. 200 XP. Oh, we got this, Jim. It's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be so easy. We're already three levels away from rolling. Oh, there's only one trainer. Right. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to the PC. And we've got enough potions where this should be an easy fight. We are not going to be using our other Pokemon at all. They are going to be bench warmers for this fight, 100%. Heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Make sure Bulbasaur is at the head of the party. He is. And let's go kick Brock's ass. We're gonna deport Brock. He's gonna be Mexican toast. Okay. What do you have to say? Will you cheer me on? Clefairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after Mount, after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Oh. Are you foreshadowing that maybe Clefairy evolves via a moonstone? Just a thought. Just a thought. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. I have some pretty rock hard willpower. Not very many people get to see that. My Pokemon are all rock hard, but they are and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock cat. You didn't say! I couldn't have guessed. Your gym doesn't look like one massive rock pit. Wahaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Alright, I'll show you my best, which is one Pokemon that has a super effective type against yours. Your Geodude is going to be down in one hit. Your final Pokemon Onyx probably is? I'm pretty sure he's also Rock Ground, and if he is, he's definitely down in one hit, and I think he is. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely hitting level 14 after this. One level higher, not a problem. Do we Leech Seed? I think we do. He's got high defenses. He could actually live this now that I think about it. And this just isn't ensures our victory because he's not going to be able to use any items to, to cure that. I, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. That's fine. He missed. It's fine. Everything is fine. And we're back at full health. So who even, who even cares? Who even cares that I misclicked? Okay. Uh-huh. Fine away. Yeah, okay. Yep, uh-huh. Yep, you're done. You're done, Zo. You're not a hard jump fight. I took- I lost two HP from that whole fight altogether. Guess what, Brock? I had other Pokemon. You just got swept by one- one big boy. I get the boulder badge, sweet. Yeah, you get a strength boost from uh, from the boulder badge, like your attack goes up. Isn't that interesting? Okay, we get Rock Tomb, the TM. I don't think I have anybody that can or would want to learn that, but I'll check. Okay, let's see here. Nope, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Okay, so first things first, we get our running shoes, and we get Julie to evolve and become an actual fucking team member. Okay. Here we go. He doesn't give you anything, does he? Does he get, like give you a potion or something? Oh, he just told me about- Oh my god! This is fine. This is fine. This is the museum. You have to pay to get in. What kind of- what kind of shit is that? 
I'm not going to your fucking museum. I ain't ever talking to you again either. Okay. Give me my running shoes. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. You didn't say. It's not like you guys all look exactly the same. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Running shoes! Thank God. We all get shit done, guys. Look at this. I'm fast as fuck, boy. We can be all get shit done. Alright. We need to switch Julie to the head of our party. And we'll start off by fighting this bitch. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Actually, check the tape again. I did not look at you. You looked at me. Last Janice. Okay, we can't kill this. Well, nobody really can. We'll heal Rat Scum if we need to, but I think Quick Attack will get the job done. I don't think he has Gust yet. He does have Gust. Okay, what does this mean? How much damage? Are we dead from a crit? Hold on, let me do math. We are dead from a crit. Ah, we lost Bugsy this way. We can't. We can't. Do we go to Falco? We go to Falco. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Maybe I should've grinded a little. Nah, we'll be fine. Listen, this I play it super safe and over level in my personal Nuzlocks, but for this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and keep them at fairly low level. Keep it exciting. In my other Nuzlocks, I didn't lose that many Pokemon to be honest. Most of I I failed a lot of runs, but it's mostly from me just getting bored and changing them. We're not dead to a crit, are we? I don't think so. And we're faster. We're faster. It doesn't matter. Pidgey's down. Everybody got some XP there. Okay. Is it another another level 9 Pidgey? What do I do? Okay. Okay. I have a solution to this problem. We are going to Potion Falco. Because he can eat a Gust. He tackled anyways, but he could have ate a Gust. Even a Gust crit, I think. Maybe. Probably not, actually. I could have lost Big Boy there. Anyways, everything is fine. It's all fine. Now let's, let's fuck this Pidgey up with Falco. Ow. Peck. He does six damage. We gotta remember that. Still not dead to a crit. Still faster than. Ooh, wait. Wait. Okay, we're good. We're good! Bye bye, Last Janus. You're mean. You're mean. You're the one that's like, you were looking at me. Quit looking at me. I wasn't even looking at you. Okay. We can run back to the Pokemon Center. This is so nice. Okay. We don't need to get more potions yet. We'll probably do that maybe before Mount Moon, though. Mount Moon will be the first real challenge, I think. But we can get we can get a Zubat there, which would be really good for the team, even though we already have a flying type. The poison typing is always nice. Okay. Back to fighting trainers. We should still be leading with Julie. A bug catcher will be much more... Much more doable. Okay. Let's go. Hey, I saw you in Verdean Forest. Oh, which one were you? Which which one of the bitches were you that got your ass beat? Caterpie? Psh, dude, you could have a fucking... A fucking Butterfree by now, and yet you just got a damn Caterpie. That's a big aha moment, bro. Not dead. You're lucky. What do you think you're gonna live? You might go you might be able to get off a tackle before I kill you, but you're in no shape to beat me. Easy. You still didn't outspeed me. Falco's Falco's fa Falco is fast as fuck, boy. 
you know. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to grind Metapod off camera. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't kill me. Or don't poison me. Okay. I think this kills. I'm going to get Metapod up to level 10 and evolve him. Um, and I will record before the last bit of experience so that you guys can see the evolution. Because you guys didn't get to see Weedle or Kakuno evolve. And that's, that's sad. And I don't like, I don't like sad things like that. Kill this meta, er, oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh, I didn't see how much, hold on. Oh, my gosh, I gotta be faster. There's no way. Okay. I just knew he was gonna be faster and then tackle crit me. And I think I was dead, if that happened. Pretty sure. Okay, about goes up to level 11. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to gr do some grinding off camera. Am I gonna level up anybody else? Um, I'm gonna get Raz to come to level 10, too. Just to even it out with the rest of the team. Okay. Well, that's the plan, guys. I will see you in a bit. Guys, I... Guys, I am not... I did not do anything... To this game. Okay? I haven't done anything. I haven't messed with the game file. This is just straight up Pokemon Leaf Green. As if it was pulled straight from a cartridge. Now... For those of you who aren't super into Pokemon, that is a shiny Rattata. A shiny Rattata. Hold up. I'm going to look up the odds of getting a shiny in this game. Let me just, because, hold on. You need you need to know this. So, oh, i got to plug in my laptop. Hold on, guys. I'm going to look this up. And, if you can't tell, I'm a little shocked by this happening. So. Okay, we good? We good? Now I can look that up. So, uh, in Fire Red, or in Fire Red and Leaf Green, there is a 1 in 8,192 chance of finding a shiny. Um, what? So, there is a clause that I play with called the Shiny Clause, and that's if you find a shiny of a Pokemon that you already have, you can catch it and switch it. So if we can catch this, then we will have a shiny Rattata on our team. I can't believe this. I can't believe on my first Nuzlocke Let's Play, I find a shiny. Wow. Wow. So we definitely need to play it carefully. I'm going to growl. We don't have that many Pokeballs. So we have to be very careful in making sure that we don't accidentally kill it. So we're going to growl again. Okay. I think, I mean, it's level two. Uh, a ball will probably catch it right now. We have enough. We have enough. Come on. Really? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? Why was why was that catch odds so low? Okay, come on. Are shinies actually harder to catch? There we go. Okay. Whew. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. So, I'm going... I'm going to nickname this a very special name. It is a very special name that can only go to somebody as magnificent as this. And that's Scooby-Doo. So... What we're gonna do 
is we are going to go heal up. We're going to finish our off-screen training. And we are going to put Ratscum away. And actually, you know what? I'm going to put him away on screen because I play a little differently. So you're supposed to release a quote-unquote dead Pokemon like the Kakuna. But I prefer to be able to look back at them. So I put them in a box. In box 14, the last box. There's Bugsy. He's just in there. He's he's dead. That's his corpse. 100% his corpse. That is a ho those are hollow, hollow eye sockets. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to kill Ratska for the better for the better species okay cuz there's no freaking way the scooby doo isn't better than rat scum okay you can't convince me otherwise all right guys i'm going to go grind and i will see you shortly all right guys uh julie is now level 10 and obviously scooby doo is now to level 10 and he is evolving. I wonder what he could be evolving to. It's not like I've said it like three times in this video. Okay, come on. Booyah! Pretty bird! Pretty butterfly, I mean. Pretty butterfly. Butterfree! Let's go. Good job, Julie. Julie learned confusion. Good move this early on. Very good move. So this is our team. We've got level 11 Falco, level 10 Julie, level 10 Scooby-Doo, and Big Boy. Alright, let's go heal at the Pokemon Center. The downside of me showing you guys the evolution of Julie is that you have to sit here and watch me get my balls restored. But you get to hear that happy little tune while you do it, so it balances out. See you again. Yeah, probably. Okay, we don't need to buy Pokeballs or Potions yet. I, don't, I think we're fine. Okay, back on to these fellas. Alright, we're much more prepared now, bitches. Alright, who are we going to lead with, though? Should we lead with Scooby-Doo? I mean, I'm pretty excited about him. Let's show him off a little bit. He, he, uh, I think he has more attack than the other Rotata, too. It feels that way. Because he was doing lots of damage when I was grinding him. All right, let's fight this youngster. You like shorts? They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. I agree, man. I agree, man. You know what? I'm a shorts boy, too. Youngster Ben. Youngster Ben likes shorts. Everybody remember that. It'll be on a quiz. Okay. He's actually higher level. Ooh, look at that shine. But, oh god, a quick attack crit might kill me. This was actually scary. What is... What are the defenses like? on Julie. I wanna know. 17 compared to 21, compared to 12, compared to 12. So, more bulky. We're going into Julie. Tail Whip, that's fine. And eh, it's actually kinda bad, but it's fine. We're gonna go for the Confusion. We're still faster? I didn't think we'd be faster. Ooh, the Confusion. If he could just hit himself in Confusion, that would be great. Come on. Yeah, all right, some good RNG, thank you. All right, now another confusion, wait, oh, we're, oh wait, he could have used, he could have used quick attack, I forgot about that, oh wow, easy, easy game, easy kill, good job, Julie. Already much better, much, much better. Ekans, we're staying Julie, because Ekans is poison type, which is weak to, to psychic type, so easy. An easy confusion kill. It'll probably still take two, though, if I had to guess. Yeah, thought so. No confusion. He gets a leer. We're two down on defense now, but we're faster, so I think we're fine. Yep. Easy. Did you guys know Ekans spell spelled backwards is Snake? Look at it. For real. And his evolution, Arbok backwards smells cobra I don't believe it 
Ajax got $176 for winning. Wow, chump change. Literally not even not even enough for a Pokeball. You can get one one and a half antidotes out of that. Okay. I am gonna lead Actually we're gonna lead Scooby Doo and switch to Falco. That's the plan. Are you a trainer? Let's get it right let's get with it right away. I cannot speak today. Okay, Weedle. Weedle, Weedle, Weedle. I think because of quick attacks, we just kill this. He's got one chance to poison us. He's taking it. Didn't poison. See, we're good. Everything's fine, guys. You keep worrying, but everything's so fine. Okay, Caterpie. Well, the Scooby Doo's. Well, Falco's one like one good fight away from a level yeah so oh there's a bunch okay so we'll be able to get scooby-doo and falco a level here for sure good deal that enough yep kakuna hmm mm. you know what we're switching to julie I want her to get some XP too, alright? I want to split it up somewhat evenly, because the last bug will most likely... I'll end up using Scooby-Doo for it. Okay, Confusion might be super effective because he's poison type. It is indeed. Very nice. I didn't know if bug resisted the Confusion or not. Okay, Metapod. Yeah. Scooby-Doo's clean up quick attacks will we'll take her down before too long. There's a Pokemon Center past all these trainers. I just gestured with my hands as if you guys could see me. That is embarrassing. Okay. Quick attack. Yeah, we got this. Easy peasy. We'll start using tackles maybe towards the end. I'm undecided. Another quick attack. Well, another quick attack I will not kill, I don't think, because of that Harden. So, I'm going to tackle. Save the- oh, well, with a crit. Thank you, Tackle. Alright. Scooby-Doo's level 11. Fantastic. Awesome sauce. And another bug trainer has been defeated. Bug trainers are the unanimously easiest trainers in Pokemon games. Even though bug Pokemon aren't necessarily the worst. It's just that there are so many bad bug-type Pokemon. Like, they're so... Like, their final evolutions are good. But their pre's are just... They're, like, the ones before it are just terrible. Like, Caterpie and Weedle, their stats and moves are just terrible. Okay. We're literally just the better version of you, so get quick attack to death. Ooh, maybe even two-hit kill? Oh, that's scary. I'm dead to a crit. But this should kill? Okay. I was actually kind of nervous there. We, we actually maybe weren't... No, we were... It would have been really close on if we were dead to a crit. Nidoran, we switch. Nidoran is poison type. So Julie's confusion will fuck him up. Okay. Confusion. Not confused. Okay, tail whip. That's fine. We're faster than him. Doesn't matter. Okay, another confusion, and he's done for. Nidoran, more like Nidder don't. I'm funny, shut up. Okay. My kitten just came and said hi to me and dipped out. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with leading Falco here. He still is two levels under, big boy. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Well, if you just caught, they're probably awful. Caterpie, uh-huh. Yep. You did not just catch a level 11 Caterpie, though. You're lying. He lying. Man, always right to that last little bit with these fucks. Just finish him. Metapod gonna take two again but I think it'll do it in two though because this first one will get him down real low 
Ooh, it maybe won't do it too. It's gonna be real close. I think it's got it though. Yep, okay. I, I bet it was close though. 169, haha. Alright. Give me that money. We're almost. So we get an encounter here. That's exciting. Um, we also have a battle with her. I actually remember what she has. And we're gonna lead Julie. I'd like her to level up and get like sleep powder or something to help us with these encounters. What do you got, last Robin? One Jigglypuff. Yeah. Yeah. We're fine. Her double slap doesn't do that much. Get a low attack stat. I'm hoping... Yeah, keep buffing your defense while I'm using a special attack. Good call. Okay. Get that confusion. Come on. Damn it. That confusion would make this just a lot smoother, you know? Like, everything's fine. But it would, like, make everything real fun. You know what I mean? Ooh, with a crit, one more kills anyways. Don't you put me to sleep. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, easy. Didn't do any damage. You just rolled up in a ball and were useless. One little sliver away. That is unfortunate because we we do have an encounter to get here. Um, and we're going to use Big Boy to get it. I don't actually know what I want from here because I don't fully remember what to get here. Ooh! Now this right here is something I want. I didn't even know I could get it here. I genuinely did not. We're gonna leech seed him slowly gain that health, but this was the Pokemon that I wanted whenever I got Spearow. So this is, this is, things are looking up. I like this Pokemon. This Mankey, he's a fighting type. He makes the first gym very, very easy. Because he learns that move right there very early. Okay, we're gonna growl it for two turns. And then we're gonna start throwing our balls at him. We wanna make sure we have enough for the Moon Mountain encounter. But I think with the money we've gotten from trainers, we can definitely buy enough. Or Buy enough to where we're not worried about it. Okay. We're gonna start throwing our balls at him now. We've got seven. I'd like to have at least four for the cave encounter. Come on. Ah! Shoot, it was so close to Damn right it was. Okay. About to use a second. I believe he'll be in yellow health uh, after after the next leech seed, though. Easy. Easy. Okay. And we still have five balls, which is plenty for the mons in the cave. Extremely quick to danger, it could be docile one moment and then thrashing away the next instant. Honestly, same. Alright, for the nickname for this one, we will be naming it Jotaro. This is a suggested comment. And this is uh, in remembrance to my boys Pidgey in his own Nuzlocke. Rip Pidgey. Okay, we got ourselves a Mankey. Fantastic. Fantastic. And he starts off with Scratch and Low Kick. Low Kick, its damage is based on how heavy the person is that you're using it on. Um, not the best. Like, it's it's not the best early fighting type, fighting type move. But uh, I don't think he... Yeah. Is there an item? Not an item. Um, not the best early fighting type move, but it works very well on specific Pokemon early on, like an Onyx, which you do kind of see a few of them fairly early on, like Brock's. It demolishes the Brock, the Brock fight. Oh, not Pokedex. Okay. 
Would you stop? So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our encounter from the cave, um, and then we're gonna save the cave for the next episode. Okay. So what am I hoping for here? Uh, I basically just don't want a Paris. That's pretty much the only thing I don't want. Other than that, everything else I think is fine. We're gonna go Julie for catching this one. The Leech Seed Way is just a little slow. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this item. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Zubat. Okay, I was okay with this. I was okay with this. We already have a flying type, but Zubat is extremely good. And we'll live a tackle. Maybe not a crit, but no, he'd live a crit. He'd still live a crit. That's not gonna do too much damage. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Tackle. Does he... He does die from a crit here. Okay. So we start Pokeballing here. I don't know if Leech Seed was making it easier to capture Mankey because it's a status condition or not. But it doesn't matter. We caught the Zubat with no problems. Now, let me pull up... Uh, because I don't have all the, the name suggestions memorized on the top of my head. I just remember a few of them. Um, just a second. Okay, we will be naming this guy. Hmm. Well, I think the name that, su that suits this this female Zubat the best is Jacqueline. What the hell just happened? Oh, I, <laughs> I tried to type in the name like on my keyboard. Okay, good job, Stan. All right. Jack. See how it's spelled? Okay. Jacqueline the Zubat. Soon to be Golbat, eventually to be... Crobat, that's what I was thinking of. Jesus, what a complete brain shutdown in that moment there. Okay, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I cannot believe we got a shiny. And honestly, I was pretty disappointed with our encounters in the last episode, but I think it was made up for this episode because we didn't get the Paris in the cave, which I just knew we were. Um, and instead we got Zubat, which I'm very happy with. And we got our boy Jotaro, which I'm also very happy with. So, we have a full team now, and we're going into that cave. Uh, I'll probably, before the next episode, I'll get Jacqueline and Jotaro up to level 11. Um, just before I even start the episode. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, comment more, uh, name suggestions that you'd like to see. Uh, get him in here. We'll have plenty more encounters to come assuming we don't just get destroyed in this in this place uh, But love you guys and try and have some standards. Okay, peace out in fire red and leaf green There is a one in eight thousand one hundred and ninety two chance of finding a shiny